Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayson and thank you for joining me. Well, it was a mixed session overnight as the US dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against the basket of six major currencies, rebounds from 109.34 and closes around 110.20 in New York this morning. From there, the market is a little bit mixed after the economic data that was released overnight showed that the number of Americans filing for new claims for unemployment benefits fell unexpectedly last week. According to the Department of Labor report, a total of 217,000 initial unemployment claims for the week ending Saturday, which was up 3,000 for the prior week and below the 220 forecast. While in other data, the rebound in the U.S. GDP in the third quarter comes as a welcome surprise. After the third quarter, GDP reading showed the U.S. economy returned to its growth in July and September period, along with steady and quarterly core inflation. Having displayed strong momentum on Thursday, the morning session, or the close of New York, fell suddenly for the Australian dollar, and it's now trading where the break level was at 64.45. From there, which let's see how the market plays into today, as we may see a little bit more of a week of pullback net before the rebound. That is seeing support from 63.85, and if that level holds, then initially the market should continue its upward trek after the confirmation from the engulfing candle looks towards the region of 65 to 66 cents. As widely expected, the ECB rose interest rates by 75 base points to 2%. This in turn initiated very whipsaw price action, but the GDP release in the US did help the dollar rebound slightly. At that point, the market is still holding, that is, above the support level seen around 99.30 and while intact could see another upward challenge and furthermore could look towards that objective of 101 to 103. The dollar yen was still relatively weak overnight after reaching the lows of 145 before rebounding. I feel the market has actually taken a pause here or a bit of a breather since the last couple of days of weakness and therefore may see a small climb up towards the region of 147.20 and then reassess from there. But overall, from the initial uh, decline and also the break of the technicals, I still feel that uh, the downside objective could be somewhere around the region of 143.40.60. The sterling was also modestly weak overnight as the market eases away from the 116 region, but nevertheless the support is still holding, that is around the 114.45. I feel from any weakness towards this region should again, let me just pause down a little bit, should again see demand and therefore look further more to the upside of 118 and then reassess. Another disappointment for gold as the market took the challenge to 1,666 with a higher 70, ended up closing beneath there. We still need to see a New York close above 1,666 to support the case up to 1,690. Failing that, or oh, the close of this week, could put further stress on the downside and look towards the region of 1,638 to 43. Wrapping up with oil, as we can see, the market at present is still holding to its gains and looking towards that top side objective, which is around 88, 25, 55 area. I feel that a break there could give further scope up towards 92, 15, 55, that is. But keep an eye on that break level, 88.25.55, because a rejection could still put the oil in a vulnerable position and see a pullback towards the region of $81. Well, that wraps it for the morning. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the interest rate port. I hope you enjoy the great start to the day.